Grizz here. It's time for another weekly riff. Well, this week, let's talk about inspiration. What inspires you? What pushes you? What drives you? You know, it doesn't necessarily mean it has to be musical. But that's how songs are created. You know, they start with an inspiration. You know, an idea. You know, where does it come from for me? It could come from anything. You know, walking up this hill right now could be an inspiration. Uh, you know, sitting here in this truck stop. Anything. You know, what I had for breakfast, which I don't normally eat, but anyway, that's beside the point. Oh. Inspiration comes from anywhere. You know, you can be inspired to write a song because your girlfriend left you. Or, you know, anything. You know, every song has somewhere it started. You know, it's, sometimes it's not always a good inspiration but the person who wrote that song was inspired to share their feelings or share their thoughts on any given topic or subject you know uh, you know it doesn't matter what it is you know if you're inspired to write a poem about it or write a story about it or create because of it then that's what inspiration is you know it could be a person it could be a thing an event doesn't matter what matters is you made something with it you know putting it into a musical context you know, you, you get an idea, and that idea becomes a couple of words. Those couple of words become a verse or a chorus, you know, or whatever, you know, a, a combination of it. Next thing you know, okay, you've got these lyrics. You know, what, uh, what do you do with them? Well, there's a couple things you can do with them. You know, you can uh, leave it as is and, and call it a poem, which, you know, is not unheard of. Or if you have the ability to play a couple of chords on a guitar or piano or whatever, you kind of match up those words to a couple of chords, you know, three or four chords. Next thing you know, you've got a song. So, me, I'm, what I'm inspired by mostly is my emotions, what I'm feeling. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be about any specific thing, just you know, uh, me, I'm, you know, just whatever. Uh, I'm not much of a lyricist. Um, I used to write poetry back in high school, but there is a difference between writing lyrics and poetry. Not much, but there is a difference. Uh, you still have to follow certain, uh, rhythms and rhymes and I'm just honestly I'm not very good at it anymore you know, so mostly what I write is instrumental and I hope that uh, I'm able to convey what I'm feeling through my instrument and I would like to think that that is the ambition of every guitar player it's pretty sunny out here today, but, 
which is nice. Chilly, but it's nice. But nonetheless, uh, I think every musician strives to convey their emotions through their music. And with the end goal of inspiring somebody else to create their own magic, if you will. Uh, it's, it, inspiration, it's, uh, it's fleeting too. You know, you get inspired by something. If you don't write it down or, or record it in some way or fashion, even if it's just humming a few bars into your phone, you know, you forget about it an hour later, you know, unless it's really epic. But, you know, that's honestly rare to, do, you know, for that to happen. But you just, you get it down any way you can. That way you can re revisit it, you know, down the road and remember what you were feeling at that time in order to continue your process of writing. Uh, you know, uh, again, you, you know, because you, you tend to forget if you don't do that. You know, in all honesty, I really should follow my own advice there because, you know, these episodes, I pretty much come up with the concept of them off the cuff. I don't, you know, I don't follow a script or anything. You know, I just, whatever comes off the top of my head. But, uh, hey, I've got an idea of, of what I want to talk about, and then I think about it and flesh it out. But, you know, when it comes to the time I press that record button, yeah, I just typically just go with whatever comes off the top of my head, as long as it's on topic. Uh, although sometimes I can get on a, on a tangent and go somewhere else, but... <laughs> Hopefully I don't do that too often. You know, but that's also where inspiration comes from. I mean, I, you know, wandering around on top of this hill talking to my phone about inspiration. And I've got ideas of, of you know, future episodes. But and I'll probably forget them by the time I get back to my truck. <laughs> But that's how inspiration works, though. Sometimes, you know, if you don't get it down, you forget about it, and you've lost the moment. So it's important to get your ideas down some way, whether, you know, like I said, you write down some lyrics, or if you're an instrumentalist, you hum into your phone, you know, the basic riff or whatever, you know, whatever you come up with, and you just go from there. You know some of the some of the tracks that I use at the beginning of these shows are inspired by the topic, and, and so you know that there again another form of inspiration. It might not be my riff. You know, it might be you know somebody else's, but nonetheless. There's inspiration for me to put some, you know, a riff with the top with the topic that I'm talking about, and it's, you know, honestly, an example of what I'm talking about. You know, and inspiration isn't just limited to a creative mindset or you know, a musician. You know, you can get inspiration for building a deck or, or uh, painting the living room, you know, whatever. It just whatever it is that you find enjoyable, find inspiration for it and, and do what you can to enjoy yourself. Uh, with that being said, see y'all next week. Bye. If you like what you just saw, Please click the like, subscribe button, share it with friends. That would help me out greatly. Another way to help me is to click on the link in the description for my Patreon. 
appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day.